Well, hello YouTube, this is Chuck, and this will be another one in my windshield tour series. And today we're coming into Pine, Arizona, and we're going to shoot both Pine and Strawberry because they're two little communities that uh, they're located about three miles apart, and uh, they're quite frequently referred to together as as Pine Strawberry. At the south end, we've got that's a mini a mini pub brewery. Very, very popular. Pine was originally settled in the late 1870s by the Mormon settlers. A nice little valley located, uh, well, this right in front of us here is called Strawberry Mountain. And there we're coming into town. Actually, I think I told you something. That's, no, that's part of the Muggy on Rim up there. Strawberry Mountain's right there. That's my error. As we come into town, we've got a nice restaurant, breakfast restaurant. And they have a lot of, this little short stretch of the main drag here has a lot of events and stuff here. And there's a market and a tavern and fire stations down there a little ways. But there's a lot of tourist-related stuff here. Now, Pine has a population of probably around 3,500, give or take. But there's also an awful lot of, of uh, weekend cabins and summer cabins here. And a lot of people from the Metro Phoenix area have cabins here. So the, there's a lot more structures than you'd think. Some of this historical stuff right here along the main drag... bed and breakfast and real estate office and Chevron station and then right in front of us there is the LDS church and of course you got to have one of them all these little communities have one of them okay so now we're pulling up the hill out of pine and I'm going to let this run till we get up through strawberry strawberry is a lot smaller it only has maybe uh Oh, maybe 1,500 people, but then again, there's a lot of uh, weekend and summer places up there. Getting to see, it's kind of hard to see, in, but there's some pretty high-end houses up here to the, to the right. I don't know if you can see them on camera here. And a couple more little side streets going down into some other neighborhoods. We're still in Pine. Strawberries two miles up the hill here, so we'll be up there in a couple minutes. My, uh, my windshield tour videos have actually been pretty popular. There's a lot of people, a lot of people like to, like to watch that kind of stuff because they've never been here before. Strawberry Hollow there, that's the last uh, subdivision here in Pine. The last actual houses that are here in Pine are, this place is right here to the right, right, right back in there. It's all uh, totally surrounded by Town National Forest land. So both communities are boxed in. They were both uh, pine, of course, obviously it was named after the pine trees and strawberry was named after the uh, wild strawberries that grew, grew along the creek up here. They were both settled in uh, well, the late 1870s. Looks like a perfect day to do this. Bright blue, bright sunshine. Coming into strawberry. There's houses on both sides up on the hillside here. Another watering hole here called Bandits. And 
And over here on this side, there's an Italian restaurant, and then right there, it's closed today, but that red building right there is called, is called the Pie Bar, and, and it's, it's a pie restaurant. And we're gonna turn right here, but the community, uh, it goes for about another maybe half a mile up that direction, and that's uh, State Route 87 headed toward Winslow and goes up the Mobile on Rim. But right now we're going down a little side road called Fossil Creek Road. This used to be the old way to go to Camp Birdie, but it was closed by a rock slide many years ago and the Forest Service never reopened it. We're gonna let this run for just a little bit longer here and we're off the highway now. We're like I say, we're on a side road that give you a little bit of, these things are all on Airbnb, all these little white places. Pretty country, we're, elevation here is about a 57, 5800 feet, something like that. And being right under the rim, they get a little bit more snow than we do down where we're at. As you can see, they don't have mail delivery here. You can see the big row of mailboxes. It's a real pretty place. They get quite a bit of snow here. So right up here is the fire station. You know I always got to show the fire station. And it's called Station 42. Church here. I'm going to let you go for now. So uh, as I always tell you, take care of each other and love each other. And I'll be back with you again with another one here pretty quick. So right now I'll just say peace out.